All right, welcome to my gameplay review and how is it reactive on the brand new starter pack for season four called the Checkered Past Pack. As you can see, it's $3.99 real life money and you get 600 V-Bucks. Whoa, I almost purchased it. 600 V-Bucks and four items. The skin, the back bling, which is reactive, the pickaxe, and then the wrap. And of course, like I mentioned, 600 V-Bucks for only $4. That's pretty good, I think. Well, I tried to buy it and I hit a roadblock, it says, a critical error. That's dumb, let's try again. All right, there we go, there it worked. So there's Veronica with her dead game shirt. We'll talk about that in a second. The good old Pete back bling, the thud thumper pickaxe, and of course the checks and scratches wrap, and the best part of all, the 600 V-Bucks, nice. So here she is in the locker, what in the world? Why did it turn to Rex? <laughs> Why did it turn to Rex? I'm nowhere near Rex. All right, let's try this again. What? What is happening here? Veronica, can I please look at Veronica? Please. Okay, no. Okay. Am I like in the item shop and it's glitching out on me or what? What? What is happening? I just want to look at Veronica, please. Okay. What is going on here? Boy, they really want me to buy this bundle, don't they? I cannot get off these skins. I don't understand. Holy smokes, this is pretty annoying. I'm not gonna lie. Let's click into her. Maybe if I click in... Wait, I can't go anymore because she doesn't have any styles. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna restart my... <laughs> okay, I'm gonna restart my... Apparently she can transform into other skins. That's her main ability here. This is full squash, so let me restart. All right, let's try again. Fully reset the game, and I think we're good to go. Nice. So here's Veronica, it says, always blunt and to the point. So the whole point of this skin is that she's a meme of Twitter, pretty much. So every time the official Fortnite Twitter account posts something, they get these stupid bot-like replies from people that say, dead game, or L plus ratio, or stupid things like that. It's just so dumb. And they always end it with the skull like that, just like her tattoo. I'm not sure what the checkered hat has to do with anything other than that's the name of the pack. Well, checkered is in the name of it at least. But it's hilarious that they took the dead game meme and on the fifth anniversary of Fortnite's birthday, nonetheless. That is irony at its best and I love it. The color scheme is, I'm pretty sure this is green. It's like a hunter green. Although the more I stare at it, the more it kind of looks black, but I swear this is green. Maybe it's just my crappy colors. The belt definitely is green. Now I'm questioning whether or not that's green on her shirt. I'm pretty sure it is. Compared to the hat, it looks definitely green, right? The facial features on this skin, I love it. This is a nice model. She's got good hair. I like that hoodie. Pants are okay, shoes are okay. Not much else to say. She's got that tattoo. She's got these weird reflectors on her belt. You see that as I move, they kinda give that mirror appearance. Then we got the back bling. Let's see what that actually says. He's called good old Pete and he's reactive. A trophy from her first elimination. So she stole the skull of the first person she bibbity bopped. I'm not sure what it says on there though. I don't even know if that is anything. At first I thought it said vile, but it doesn't really look like English to be honest. We'll check that out, see how he's reactive. The pickaxe is called the Thud Thumper. It says, nothing like some Blunt Force Llama. Get it? Blunt Force Trauma? Blunt Force Llama? Nice. I don't know what that animal is. Is it supposed to be a llama? Kind of reminds me of a dragon, maybe? I don't know what that's supposed to be. So there's no glider, but if you own the checker glider, it matches her checkered pattern really well. And then the wrap is called Checks and Scratches. It's not animated, not reactive, but it does have the checkered theme. All right, here we go. This is the checker glider. Definitely has a lot of yellow in it, but other than that, it matches pretty nicely. Ooh, we got the full nighttime effect too. Let's drop it down and take a look at the skin. We'll be able to see if this is green or black, especially here in the dark, hopefully. All right, here we go. So again, it's really hard to see the color, but I'm pretty sure that's still green. 
The pickaxe is real nice. It reminds me of the crowbar, which is literally what it is, but a bigger version. Here's the pull-out sound. I love that. Let's see if there's a contrail. It's got a nice hefty swing sound to it. You can kind of see a white glow when you swing it. How about a splash effect? We'll hit the non-breakable wall. Oh yeah, okay, that's a little unique. So a default splash is just a uh, dull yellow, but you can see there's some orange outline and some sparks. So that's kind of cool. How about the back bling? Let's see. Do the eyes move? I feel like he's looking around a little bit. Sometimes they move, sometimes they don't. When you jump up, the skull kind of lifts as well. One of his teeth glitters or glimmers every now and again. Watch this. Right there. Oh, two of them did that time. Let's see if that's always the case. Yeah, they were in sync that time. Let's watch it one more time. Okay. Interesting. So the eyes will occasionally move. Hmm. Let's see how it's reactive. Get ready. Here we go. Okay, so it looked like <laughs> it looked like his eyes spun around. We might have to go into replay mode to get a better angle. Let's try again. Looks like his head like moved and then spun around. Hmm. Yeah, he kind of goes a little crazy there. It's so hard to see, though, because he's always at an angle in game here. Alright, here we go. I'm going to try to eliminate this guy and then pull out my pickaxe so we can see. That was better. Okay, let's do that again. Yeah, so he kind of weeble wobbles, then the eyes go all crazy. That's interesting. At least it matches the entire outfit. The skull tattoo, the checkered pattern. Looks pretty good. So no complaints from me from the skin itself. I like everything about this skin. There's nothing flashy. There's nothing animated. How about the wrap, though? Pretty good too. It's got a little green in there. A little checkered pattern as well. Yeah, an all around solid bundle. They usually do pretty good with these starter pack bundles. I really like them. I don't think we've had a dud in a while. Let's take a look at her face here. Yeah. It's a really good looking skin. Of course, she's got the dead game shirt on, which is just so ironic and hilarious. I love it. Yeah, I really, really like this skin. I would definitely run this in a match. So there you go, that is the Veronica skin in the brand new starter pack bundle. In my opinion, one of the better starter pack skins we've had. Nothing flashy about it, nothing glowing about it, a nice reactivity on the back bling, and of course you get the 600 V-Bucks instantly. So 600 V-Bucks, more or less, would cost you at least $8. Because you can't buy just 600, you have to buy 1,000. So if you think of it like that, it's an absolute steal. You're basically paying for the 600 V-Bucks and you get the skin, the back bling, the pickaxe, and the wrap for free, pretty much. It's a nice Twitter meme skin, but at the same time, it's also a very good looking skin as well. So there you go. Well worth it, in my opinion. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.